decided I'm going to make some 5,000 milliamp batteries out of these things. Uh, it'll handle 50 amp peak or 20 amp constant, and I know it runs at that. So what I've done is glued these together. All you do, you get a glue gun. My other one's broken, so this is my backup. You run a slither of glue across it, and then you run positive to negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, like that. So you've got that. And then I've got some electrical wire. This is actually um, just household twin and earth, which I've stripped out. So what I'm going to do, first off what I'm going to do is put another, put some more glue down there, actually, on both sides to hold it into place properly. Then I'll come back. So this one's glued together, as you can see. What I did was literally run a bead of glue down stick it together, bead of glue, stick it together got positive, negative, positive, negative this one I've soldered up now one word of warning when you're doing this you can actually damage the cells if you get them too hot um, a little heat, it, it doesn't hurt I've, I've tested, I have done a lot of testing on these actually not, not these, but these um, with soldering tabs on them and stuff uh, as long as you're quick, it doesn't hurt them whatsoever. The capacity doesn't change, the, the current drain doesn't change. So, if you have your soldering iron as hot as you possibly can and get it on there as the least amount of time possible, you'll be fine. So what I've done here is I've got the positive off one to the negative and then over this side I've got that positive to the negative and then that side I've got the positive to the negative so the output terminals there's the negative sorry there's the negative and there's the positive that's it so what I've got to do now is put the balance leads on so I've got a few of these this is a 6S uh, and somewhere I've got a box of connectors, so I need one for 5S, 4S, dickhead, where, where are they, oh, ain't that just a bloody typical, ain't got it, have I? no, unbelievable. I haven't got any. <laughs> how many? How many of these things have I thrown away? And <laughs> old knackered batteries always keep the bloody balance leads off them. Oh no! One, two, three, four. That's three. Two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six. Bollocks. Oh, scratch that. I found this. Uh, this was basically an ex I think it was just an extender. Dunno. So I can't use those because I haven't got any. Um, Anyway, so what I've got to do is, I've got to take those, I don't need those, so I'm just going to take them out. I'm going to use the longer ones, although that might, might be alright actually. Um, no, I'll use the longer one. So to take these things out, you've got to be careful that you don't take your bloody fingers off. I need my other glasses because I can't bloody see at my age. So what you've got to do is push the pin in and slowly push it out like that and then that one push it in. If you push it out with the knife they come out quite easily like that I 
I'm only doing this because I want you to see me see. I want you to see me stab myself because I usually do. <sighs> Come on, that one. And that one. So I've got the connector off. I've got to take the wires off here because I'm going to be using them. Same again. You do need five. You need one for each cell and then you've got a negative. Better check. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So, what you want to do first is, or what I do anyway, is I put these in here, get another battery just to match it up against it because it's always a bloody good idea. So the positive goes to the left, which is like that, and then it really doesn't matter what order you put these in because they're all the same colour. So that's that. So, what I do, because I'm a bloody perfectionist and I want the wires to come out here, is I measure them and then I cut them to length, exactly what you want. So the first one, which is the positive one, goes to the positive on the first cell, which is also the positive off that battery. So, the next one, which is going to be the positive off that cell, and then the next one, which is going to be the positive off that cell. And then the next one, which is that one, is going to be the positive off that cell. And then the last one will be that. That makes sense. It's quite easy to wire balance leads up. And then what you do is just get your meter across the, the connectors just to make sure that if you... If you sorry, if you start this side, which is the negative, you put your negative probe on there, and then you go up and up and up and up, and you should find that it increases by around about 3.5 volts or whatever the the current voltage of the battery is. It should go up by that, just to make damn sure that you've got it wired up properly. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to put the main terminals on first, actually. Uh, I'm going to be using an XT60 connector and then I'll have an adapter to, the, to uh, make it to an XT90. Oh, just, to, just a tip when you're doing these, make sure that you have the other end. Make sure you have both ends actually plugged in at the same time. Because you don't... If I was to solder that, you'd probably find that the connectors start melting and disappearing somewhere. So if you have them connected like that, it stops it from happening. So I'm going to wire those up and then I'll come back. If you can hear me over the noise of this power supply, this is my server power supply that will deliver 120 amps at 12 volts. Brilliant piece of kit. Now I've converted it. Anyway, battery pack's done. I've basically, I've, I've just covered it in insulating tape because that's what I do and I've got no heat shrink stuff. Uh, it's now charging as you can see so it's done well the one done i've got to do the other one yet i think i don't know whether to i don't know whether to try this one first and then do that one don't know yet anyway it's done i'm now going to go and test it with um i'm going to charge it fully then i'm going to do some draw current draw testing just to see exactly how much it will take and then I'll um, I'll let you know the results. Hopefully you can hear me over this noise. What I've got here is my test bench, which this is all the test setup. This is exactly how I tested the uh, 18650s and everything else. So, server power supply, powering this which is the eye charger this is a, an asynchronous discharge um, resistor bank so there's five resistors which are bloody hot 
Um, this is the battery, obviously. There's the balance lead, and these are the power leads. This is just powering that fan. Um, I've tried it at, you see I'm running it, I don't know if you can see actually. Can I move that? Like that, it's a bit better. So I'm running it, I'm discharging it 10 amps. Um, take no notice of this, this is the asynchronous charge, uh, asynchronous discharge side of it. It's basically, I'm not going to explain. So it's discharging the battery at 10 amps, which is this one here. I can't do any more than 10 amps unfortunately because my wiring doesn't actually, or won't support it. Um, I need, I should have done thicker wires when I built it actually. As you can see the resistor bank's what, 77, 78 degrees. If I run that across there. As you can see the highest is 44.2 and that's at 10 amps. Mini Talon runs around about 3-4 amps which is the next test I'll do just to see what the run time is. The other thing as well, this is set to go down uh, to 3 volts per cell, it's the only way I could do it um, to do the asynchronous charge, there's probably another way but I couldn't be bothered. Um, it's, I'm probably going to come down at 3 volts per cell anyway to give 12 volt battery so as everything, just to be 100% sure, everything that I've got runs on 12 volts. Well it's nearly done, as you can see it's actually taken uh, 52.23, that'll be about 52.30 milliamps out of a 5000 milliamp pack, just in case you didn't believe me, it's there. Um, this is going to then go into a charge cycle because I am just cycling these a couple of times. These bloody wires got a bit hot, in fact they started <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> so there's proof that these things. I don't know how how they do it. That's only going down to three volts. These will go down to two and a half volts quite safely because I have tried and God knows how many times now at two and a half volts just to make sure. So I reckon that's going to be around about six thousand milliamps by the time they get down to two and a half volts. Fantastic. So these are going, this is my test pack for my Mini Talon. I've finished the battery off with some of this uh, PVC heat shrink so it's all nice and nice. It's this stuff. Dirt cheap. This is 110 mil, I think it is. Hang on. No, 100 mil. So if you want to build a pack of these you need some 100ml each shrink to do a single one. I've got some coming because I want to do a 10,000 milliamp, uh, which is uh, basically two of these in parallel. So I'm waiting for that to come so I can build one. Get rid of that. So the weight with these very accurate Chinese scales that I've had for <laughs> Years. This is the uh, the 5,000 milliamp battery that I always use to fly with a Zippy 5,000 milliamp, which is 458 grams. And this one, believe it or not, I haven't weighed it yet. A 411. Uh, positive, negative, put them like that and then run, well, f bollocks, shit, bollocks, nice. I've glued this one, f bollocks.